Hey everybody, welcome back to Bogue Outdoors. If you're new here, my name is Michael and on this channel we like to fish the Gulf Coast and we like to hunt the state of Alabama. And today I'm going to try and get a catch and cook done for you guys. My goal is to get us a flounder. Um, I'm going to start out with live bait, but then I'm probably going to move to a, a cocoa minnow and see if I can get a flounder that way. But um, we'll see what happens and I'll see you guys at the beach. All right, everybody, welcome back to the beach. I chose to come back here because I'm out of the wind a little bit and there's a lot of structure around here. We've got an old broken dock down over there. Got some pilings over here. We've got a dock and this is also a ship channel so it drops off pretty quickly. And I've got my live shrimp here and we're gonna see what happens. All right, y'all, this is my first live shrimp going on. Holy cow. I only asked for a dozen and he gave me probably 30. It's good service right there. Anyways, that one's already dead. First live shrimp. Going on the hook and I am using circle hooks today. Hopefully these hooks aren't too big. This is just the ones I had laying around. All right, first live shrimp going out. Fishing on the bottom. And we'll see what happens. Oh, I'm already getting hit. There's something on it, I think. Nope. At least they're not picking the legs off, so I know it's not pinfish, which is good. I don't really know if I'm gonna catch catfish today or redfish or anything. Oh, ah, I think I gotta give them longer. Something good's trying to take it. And if I do end up catching a croaker, what I plan on doing with that is actually putting him on the hook and throwing him out there for a redfish. All right, y'all, this isn't working. All I'm getting is catfish and pinfish and croaker. So I'm actually just gonna retie completely and put on a jig and I'm gonna fish those pilings for flounder. I'll keep. All right, y'all, the wind has kind of kicked up, but I have swapped over to a cocoa minnow with some fish bites on the end. And we're going to try for some flounder around these pilings over here. If I can get out to them, it's pretty muddy. This would be a good spot to flounder gig. I'm going to have to come try it over here. Oh, there's something. I got something good. That's a flounder. Is it on? GoPro, please be on. Okay, good. <laughs> I think this is going to be a flounder. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, that's a good one. That was the trick, switching over. Awesome. We're pulling him up on the beach because I don't have my net with me today. That's a good flounder. Definitely legal. All right, let's get him off the hook. That was the trick, huh? They didn't want the live shrimp. Instead, they wanted the cocoa minnow, which I am fine with that. I'm so happy right now, guys. I knew there was flounder here. I knew there was flounder here. God, I love it. Put my stringer on right here. So that was the trick, huh? Just go from... Just 
go from live bait to artificial bait. Holy cow, that's a big flounder, guys. I'm gonna get a measure on him just for... Yeah, he is almost 15. All right, y'all, there he is. First flounder, really good one. Let's go get another one. That was fun. I knew there would be flounder around here. I was literally just talking about how we should go flounder gigging here. I guess I spoke it into existence, but that was cool. There's gotta be more hanging out. All right, y'all, I'm getting hungry. So I'm actually gonna go back and I'm gonna clean and cook this flounder for y'all. Show y'all how I do it. Um, unfortunately, that was the only one that I was able to get this afternoon with the wind and it being really wavy. It was just really hard to fish. But nonetheless, I got one and we're gonna take it home and cook it right now. So stay tuned for that and I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys, it's time to cook this up. So I've got my regular pan right here and I'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil and put it on the pan and we're gonna be done with the olive oil and then I just melted some butter so I'm gonna take my flounder and let me get a plate flounder and a plate and I am going to rinse the flounder in this butter there's one all right guys I've got my flounder fillets they've got butter on them and now what I'm gonna do is take this fish seasoning right here it is called rub some fish I'm just gonna season both sides of these flounder. And then, I just take some of these thyme leaves right here, and you don't need much, just a little on each filet. Flip it over again, do the same thing on the other side. All right, we're done with that. That's all that I'm gonna do to these flounder. Just butter, seasoning, thyme, that's it. All right, so I've got my flounder here, all seasoned up and ready to go. I'm just gonna cook it in a regular pan on the stove. And these guys do not take long to cook, so. Put them in there. All right, so we've got the flounder cooking. It doesn't take long before they start turning white. I can probably go ahead and flip them already. Let's see. Yep, we can go ahead and flip them. And you want to be careful, just don't overcook it. All you want is for that meat to just flake away. So just a little bit longer. And that's all that these guys are going to need. All right, guys, that's probably enough time for them. Take them off the heat here. Now look at that. The meat just flakes away. It's a really white meat. And that's going to be my dinner. Thanks for sticking around for the catch and cook. That's all I've got for you guys today. Please subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I will see you soon.